Hi everyone, uh, today we are going to review these two new events that's coming up with the new updates. The first off we are going to look at is the standoff with Master Yuki. So with this event you will get uh, two different items that only valid for one day or actually only valid for 30 minutes. The first one is the experience boost and the second one will be the item drop rate boots boost actually. And this items uh, will give you 30 minutes of the item drop boost and one thing to notice here is that it has a mark that saying that the item will be deleted on the 26th of June 2019 at 12.30 so uh, looks like it's only valid for one day as well for you to use it so if you're doing this event just be careful uh, not to try to stack the items because it's you're not gonna be able to stack it anyway so you have to use it right away after you get the items or at least within the one day so we're just gonna try uh, running this event I think it's just going to be a very quick uh, run since usually the boss is very easy to do anyway so uh, yeah so we have Yuki here and I'm just going to go around <laughs> And see what he can, what she can do. And right, okay. So yeah, it, it dies within one hit. It's very easy. And on the reward screen, I'll get that release crystal. Looks like that's the only rewards that you can get from there, other than the completion rewards. So uh, I got the lucky day, uh, the incense to increase the lucky day once. Let's try to, oh, looks like you can only do one uh, at a time. And so on one day you can select between the ex EXP boost or the drop rate boost that you can get. And today I'm getting the drop rate boost, which I think is more, uh, is a better reward. So yeah, the, uh, the item is still showing the same thing, that it will be deleted on June 26th. So it looks like I will only be able to use it for a half day in this case because of the updates. And tomorrow we're probably gonna get the same item and we'll be, use it, be able to use it on the rest of the day. So then that we have that client uh, events and then this other event which is the pirate with the demon sword. I'm going to look into this event as well. So we have uh, four or five different uh, level dungeons. I'm just going to try the first one for now. And in terms of the rewards, it seems pretty decent with the rewards. At least we got all uh, the release crystals, which is a very, very good items because it will increase your weapon proficiency skill level. And looks like you'll need to equip a certain skills to get us a bonus points. But I'm not gonna bother with that for now. I'm just gonna try the first boss. And so it's like it's the pirate from uh, the floor 12 dungeon. And it dies within one shot, so it looks like I will not uh, I wasn't able to hmm, see anything what the boss can do. So let's try to pick on uh, higher level dungeons after this so that we can see what the boss is capable of. Because I'm just gonna uh, I, I want to see what the area uh, skills that the boss is gonna use because it was advertised that the purse is recommended for this one. And so I'm gonna pick the level 50 and so this one, the fight should take a bit longer for the boss to be able to use uh, his special move. So let's take a look. So yeah, my skill uh, is not very optimized against this boss. I was just doing another test earlier with the different skills. So this is still on the slash. Oh, there you are. 
So this is the area move that the boss was using. So it looks like we still have uh, some space to dodge the move. So I don't think dodge is really, I mean, uh, burst skill is really required. So yeah, it looks like uh, you'll be able to dodge it without even without a burst skill. Okay, so uh, let's try to tank this move uh, now. Let's see how much damage it can do. Looks like it's not taking any damage. Oh, okay. so it looks like there is a delay reactions on the damage for this skills. Yeah, so it might be something that we need to watch out when running the dungeon. Not to get too close to the boss after he releases move because the damage is coming on coming in afterward actually. So uh, I'm just gonna scroll through uh, the rewards quickly and see what other rewards we can get from this dungeon. So it's the same thing. It looks like it has the release crystal medium now. Yeah, so it's quite a few Relic Crystal Mediums, which is good. This is what I need for my weapon proficiency level. And on dangers, it's Crystal Medium. Oh, and they have Relic Crystal Large in the level 70 dungeons. And let's take a look at the level 90. So there are more Realist Crystal Large on level 90, which is good. And the Complete Without Tumble is giving us a Realist Crystal Large as well. So it looks like that's it for the video. Uh, I guess thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.